Alrighty. Hi, everybody. And back on again. And time for some pinball. Um, and I got a feeling I have a fair amount to talk about because it actually was a pretty eventful work week. Um, so to start with, I, I called in on Wednesday. Um, it's actually been a problem I've been having all week. It's just, it's just my, um, my brain decided to, decided to want to be Quentin Tarantino and just start, just start popping out like just crazy fucked up movie after crazy fucked up movie just over, over and over. Again, have, having that for almost a week now. It kind of died off. It died off a little bit today, but all the, all the past other days, it just, and when that, when that happens, it's, it's basically like I hadn't slept at all, so, but yeah, just, but yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought, but, but anyway, I ended up uh, calling in on Wednesday, because during that period of time, I was on basically uh, zero sleep, so, so yeah, um, and then, um, Thursday, um, I actually got taken to the office, um, this is gonna take, this Probably take a while. But I, I, I gotta turn this down. I gotta turn this down. Oh, and by the way, the the music that you're listening to, um, if I remember to, I'll I'll put the link in the uh, description. Uh, this is Perkaday. P E R C I D A E Perkaday, and then Sir Nuno's Day. It's a long one. I, I hard to pronounce. It's French, so, yeah, but anyway, so Thursday, uh, at some point during the shift, I got taken to the office, and then, um, it's that, so at some point I got taken to the office, and I got asked that, uh, was the reason why I called that on Wednesday, was because of this one person that I often work with on, on Wednesday, and I'm like, no, but, a little word on her. Um, she was never this bad. When I first, when I, I, I worked with her for probably, I want to say almost 14, 15 years. So, even when I first knew her about, when I first got to transfer to the, to the Walmart that's practically in my backyard, it's within walking distance. Um, she was always a very grouchy, a very bitter, very ornery person. But I think she's also like in her 50s, 60s. That's pretty typical. Um, but over, but for a period of time, she moved to Las, yeah, Las Vegas for five or so years and came back and she was even more grouchy. Just very bitter and hateful. Uh, but again, this was, uh, I, I mean, like everybody else in that store, it gets annoying. It gets under our skin after a while. But, um, not, I mean, not enough for me to actually want to call in just to avoid her. So. Oh, hey, Kea. Um, this is, uh, intro time. I got a fair amount to talk about here. So, a fair amount has happened this week. Um, but yeah, I, um, uh, but yeah, I got called in the office after calling in on Wednesday. I was asked, was the reason I called in because of her? Because again, she's more than ever. She's very bitter. Like she just seemingly hates everything. So I'm like, no. I mean, I mean again, I mean, yeah, she. It, it gets under, you know, it gets annoying at times, but you know, not enough for me to call in because of her, you know, that kind of thing. Because. I've got a reputation in my store for calling in on Wednesday. Um, most mostly because uh, I don't. It's the start of my work week. I can't. So if I get injured, like on Tuesday slash Wednesday, that Wednesday that period of time, if I'm injured or if I'm on zero sleep, I don't want to have to bring that with me to the start of a work week, because basically any aches, pains. Um, lack of sleep that I bring with me to work again at the start of the work week I have to carry it over to the rest of the work week like if I um, like what the kind of injury that I've been having lately my uh, left shoulder blade I've talked about this before on other streams 
you know, so if I go into work and my, uh, you know, my upper left back is all ripped, that's, um, that's something I have to carry with me the rest of the week, because my body doesn't heal much on the, on my off, uh, when I'm off work, because I gotta go back into work the next day and, you know, do the heavy lifting and the manual labor and the pushing or the pushing and the pulling and all that. It's, it's just gonna be more wear and tear on that, so it's, it's not gonna heal properly. So, so yeah, I'm most likely to call in on Wednesday, because, again, Nothing's got to heal throughout the work week. So, but yeah, it, it just, it kind of, it basically came to a head, head on Wednesday. Once again, I was called to the office for those that are just now getting here. I was called to the office on Thursday and asked that, is the reason I'm calling, I'm always calling on a Wednesday because of her? Like, no, no. You know, so, apparently, I kind of saw this coming, but, She's, um, she's being, I normally work with her on Wednesdays, but she's, uh, actually being shifted around at different departments. Um, this is what usually happens when nearly the entire store doesn't like her. You know, people in my department, usually I work in a frozen, frozen food department, sometimes the dairy department. Um, lately, they've been putting me in the dairy department and having her in the frozen food department and get putting putting some random Yahoo in their liver. And then again, I we all gotta listen to God, this guy's so fucking stupid. I fucking hate this job. I hate the fucking manager. I wanna quit this fucking place so bad. You know, like, oh yeah, yeah, join the club, you know, you know, that kind of thing. So so again, she's starting to get floated around. Their manager started to put me in put me over here. Um and I didn't, I didn't think much of it. You know, it just, again, she she seemingly hates everybody and everything. So I'm pretty sure she's probably taking her pot shots at me as well. So I'm, I'm under the impression that I've pretty much been hurting her all this time. You know, she's getting the idea that I'm calling in because of her, which no, no. You know, so all these, again, all these months that, you, again, when I call in, it's most likely going to be Wednesday when she's here, so she's never, never, you know, this never occurred to me that maybe I might actually be hurting her, trying to avoid her. So, so yeah, it just, it, it kind of, again, once again, it kind of came to a head. So, yeah, that was, so that was a bit of an eye-opener for me. She, I mean, she never, she never came off to me, or I'm pretty sure anybody else in that in the shift as, for lack of a better word, vulnerable. Because once again, is she? Is um, is Miss Afterpick the word I'm looking for? Like the when um uh, when you hate when you just hate people in general. You just hate all people, it, that that kind of thing. But yeah, it just you know say. I mean, if, if, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys are like this, too. If you have the kind of person that I work with, where they're all kinds of grouchy and just complain about everything, they they complain about everybody, it would, for the most part, just go on one ear and out the other. Now, if you were the focus of that person's hatred, then, yeah, I'd have a problem with it, and I'm sure other people would have a problem with that, too. Like, if you're the target, you know, the person you're, you know, the person you know, they're, they're having, they're talking it up, having a gay old time with everybody else, having a gay old time with everybody else, but when they're around you, they're, you know, yeah, pessimistic, so yeah, wish I'd have known that word sooner, but, yeah, so, yeah, any, anyway, I got to move along, kind of a recap. Thursday, got talked to about this, so I don't, this is going to put me in kind of a bad position because, again, sometimes I need to call in on a Wednesday because, again, any, any aches, pains, and problems that I have, 
on, two, on the day before or on the day of the start of my work week carries over. And then probably and then spending the rest of the weekend trying to recover from that. Not always the case. I still get it. So, yeah, it is. So. So I'm probably going to. I don't want to have to stop calling on a Wednesday if I need to, but I also have a, apparently, apparently she takes offense to this. Never knew that, so I'm going to have to think of something different. I don't know. So, but anyway, we'll, we'll push that aside for right now. Again, i got to move along. Um, last, I had a, last night, Last night, Anki Dory, um, the usual, or as far as the work week itself went, Thursday, Thursday went pretty good. Um, got done early. Friday, same thing. Same thing. Got done early. Got done early. Um, got a new, got a new manager. That was something else I was wanting to talk about. Um, he's a transfer from another store. He's been working for Walmart almost as long as I have. I think at least 15 years. So, and already he's a bit of a problem. Um, one thing I learned, one thing that uh, nobody, nobody on my crew, nobody I've really worked with over the years wants to hear this. You need to be done before your lunch break. She's already earned my enmity for this. So, and um, just like a lot of other transfer. A lot of other uh, transfers I get from other stores. It's like we're the worst store you've ever been at. Every it's like the last store these guys have worked at was fucking Paradise, you know, or like fucking Valhalla. They're they're up with the they're up with the morning, they're up the fighting battle, or you know, and then they you know you get the idea. It's like everything's peaches and cream at their last store, and then they come to this come to my store, and then it, it's like we're absolute dog shit. I'm getting the same vibe from this guy. Everything was better at the last store he worked at, but he came here and we're all, we're all slow, lazy. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and, you know, and, then, um, you know, and then, ha and then asked me to do dumb random shit. Is, hey, after this, can you do this? And, and he's, Again, he's uh he's my immediate manager. He's not the night manager. He's kind of an overseer. I don't. For those of you uh are familiar, this is good. I'm not to not to insult anybody's intelligence, but if you're familiar at least a little bit with Walmart, you might have heard the position called a support manager. Kind of a go between between the night manager and the the regular employees. They're kind of the they're basically the night manager's bitch. They um. They're well supporting the night manager. Well, you, technically they're they're over the employees and they could tell them what to do and all that. He's he's the kind of person that pull that he'll uh, he'll pull you off your normal job and have you do something stupid or something not part of your own daily routine and then you know put you back. Hey, so yeah, no. So I'm already not liking it. Um, and, uh, he's the kind of person, too, that, uh, I have another manager that's like this. He's tapered off a bit, or he's tapered off some, but the reason why he has you do, like, random shit is, us. Uh, it's because, uh, the night manager's gonna make him do it later on. So you're just basically saving his ass, is all, that's it. He, or, you know, orders you around for selfish reasons. You know, Hey, can you uh, go in there and sweep off the freezer? Subtle hint, because he doesn't want to have to do it after we've all left. So, so that kind of thing. So, but again, I gotta move along. Um, the work week itself. I mean, getting done, getting done with everything early. We're being sent off to different departments, which is just how I like it. Um, before I actually got stuck in the frozen dairy department for 13. 13-ish years. 
this is what he used to do. Send me over here, send me over there, send me, you know, send me almost anywhere. But, yeah, so. But otherwise, aside from that, the good work week. <sighs> okay, and then, um, but after the session, um, just gonna be the usual. Um, FX3, I might do some matchups. I'll see where I'm ranked. I might or might not um, do some more off uh, matchup, matchup matches. Um, had a great, uh, had a great session. I think it was act actually out uh, Wednesday night. Uh, I'm, I'm in the green. There's a chance I might get promoted up a tier, so I might do some work in there. Um, after that, tournaments. Uh, do that for a bit, and then doing uh, randos. After that, switching over to pinball arcade. Um, if I. If I suck balls on, um, if I suck balls on that, especially right at the start, right out of the gate, then I might just switch over to Zachariah. So. And yeah, and over uh, a 15-minute intro, so definitely went over long. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. Got to type something down. Jeez. Oh, also, like usual, eat some cottage cheese. Then I'm pretty sure it's starting to get warm now. And, um, FX3 should work. Um, I play tested this a little bit, it didn't crash, so... the World Series? I'm sorry for being ignorant. I just don't... I don't really keep up with baseball anymore. I just know that the uh, Minnesota Twins really dropped the ball. Like, they were doing great, and then they totally... Excuse me. Totally and completely blew it on, like, the one of, the, one of their playoff games or something. I bet there's people naming their firstborn after him, too. And, uh, I don't know. If you, look, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still in the green, so. I'm going to go ahead and do one. Oh shit, 39. Yeah, wish me luck. Shall we continue the adventure, Dragonborn? Which one's yours? Oh. Let's pay attention. 
attention. You have to find the Elder Scroll, Dragonborn. It is our only Box ticking. I need the ball. The Elder Scroll is not here, Dragonborn. Keep searching. Scroll is not here, Dragonborn. Defeat the skeleton! Defeat the bomber! Yes! You found it! Quick, let's get back to Parthenax. Defeat the Dwarven Spear! Watch your health! No! Oh. oh, Boston? button one stinking hit use dragon rend if you need a dragon approaches prepare for battle dragonborn my belly is full of the souls of your fellow mortals over yours up rule Shots lit, not gonna hit. Damn it. On the ball. This is your chance, Dover Keen. Strike with all your force. I don't know where to go. It's not so much for that. Yeah, um. I was on the uh, second quest on Skyrim. Um, it started with multi-ball. Um, so I was able to get a good score during that phase, but now this is all, uh, it's all, uh, it's, it's all single ball from here, so. Every time you lose, you lose points. Captain America. Move out. If you can see the white uh, flashing target back there, that's what I gotta aim for. Keep up 
Paragon. I'll, I'll read that here in just a second. Kind of stuck. Yeah, shots lit. Not going to hit. Spend the next 30 seconds not hitting it. You will never win. There it is. You win this round, but my plans continue unhindered. Kind of got a two for one deal, huh? Yeah, I never heard of them. Oh, they got Laurel and Hardy on there. Oh, 1,500 of them. Must have been pretty popular back in the day. I'm well, rated a 7. So, yeah. A fair amount of people must a fair amount of people must have known about this table. I wasn't one of them. So unfortunately. And got a boomerang. Oh, 2,500. 2,500 boomerang, so another one that was pretty popular back in the day. Turn your heads. All right, so uh, let's check out the tournament scene. All right, so I got to... Wait, uh, there's got to be some prep work involved on this. Okay, now. 
Hopefully that'll be enough. Pretty good tournament. And on this table here, you can't really do much in uh, five minutes. Otherwise, yeah, good tournament. All the scores are pretty close. Uh, you, you, can, uh, you can keep a combo up on this one. I think I talked about this, uh, I think Wednesday. The, there's two center ramps. I think it's the one on the right. You want to avoid making that one because, uh, you'll get saddled with this, uh, this platform in the upper left that sucks up a lot of time and doesn't give you anything in return. Okay, yeah. I think you could also uh, choose Hulk and just keep making the uh, center shot. So. But yeah, I'm guessing what uh, first place did was just he managed to keep up a combo. Yep. Me and the top two knew what to do on this table. here is more suitable for a for a normal mode because uh on a time mode if the ball drains that's basically a 10 second wash because you got to sit there and wait for the whole the whole the whole plunger animation for the uh, next ball to be released and all that Um, it depends, some, um, it's an option you can set, you can either have one single attempt, uh, you can have three attempts, five attempts, you can have ten attempts, and then others, then others are unlimited. I like to set mine to three, because, um, one of the reasons why you'll often see such insanely absurd scores on these is they're probably set to uh, that those tournaments are probably set to unlimited. So if you don't like the way you punch the ball, just restart it. If you if you miss if you miss one single shot or one single crucial shot, just start it over. And you can keep doing this over and over and over and over and over until your table run is just perfect and you get the idea. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely gonna need to see a replay on first place here. 433 million. And second place here is kind of sussy, kind of on the border. Completing a mode on this table, if you get a, if you're using a score boost, I think gets you 10 million. So you had to have completed a shit ton of modes to get a 433. So yeah, I definitely need to see a replay on this one. And my throat's starting to hurt from all the talking I've been doing. Oh, 
was expecting this. Twenty-eight mil in five minutes. I not too sure on that one. The second place, less of. Probably, uh, you can probably complete time periods. I know you can get a pretty decent score doing that, but completing a time period, that in itself would probably take you a whole five minutes right there. So. Yeah, I suck balls on this one. You can keep up a, you can get a combo going on this, but I think I talked about this, um, I've talked about this before. One of the uh, upper loops, it's got a, it's got a curving issue. I mean, with loops and stuff like that, the ball should either go all the way out over or all, all the way down. It shouldn't, it shouldn't hit a wall. You know, like, that often happens, I'll shoot that loop and poof, it's like I just, it's, it slams into something and just comes back out. I mean, that's... Oh, damn, okay. So, yeah, 142. Kind of on the border. I'm guessing you um at first you just start by destroying castles. Oh hey, this is my tournament. Okay. You start by destroying castles, you'll get a good get a good chunk of a score. Um but after a while it gets harder and harder to to destroy castles. So I think you have to I think you have to start off Madness Multiball immediately and then there on after just start off uh, start completing uh, for lack of a better word modes but complete modes every time you do a hurry up is lit at the center the castle center shot if you can complete a bunch of modes at once that'll you can actually ramp that up to a huge score so complete a bunch of modes make the hurry up shot and you'll get a you'll get a big score I'm guessing that's what the uh the top players are doing. Um, uh, yeah. 11 billion? Yeah, I think I'm gonna cry bullshit on this one. And I think, uh... This kind of looks familiar. I think I talked about this uh, one of my uh, other streams. Yeah, I, I'm not even gonna ask to see a replay on this one. 11 billion. Actually, there was a uh, there was another one that was uh 29 billion, but that one there was on normal mode. This is on only one ball. Yeah, I'm gonna cry hacksers on this one. 2.9 billion on one ball kind of on the border 1.6 I think would be the um would be the upper limit for this for for legitimacy it just cuz um even getting a super jackpot which actually does take a fair amount of work I think you get a 100 million I think that's the score
in order to get in, in order to get a super jackpot on this table, you have to get three jackpots. In order to get those, like Dern, again, Dern multi ball, again, which isn't, you basically have to be to get multi balls efficiently. You have to be a sniper, like you have to hit that called the Casters Club as the saucer on the right. You basically have to nail that shot. I'd probably say at least ninety percent of the time. So, get multi-ball, then you have to relock one ball, um, or you have to uh, relock at least one ball, preferably two, then you get double jackpot, and then uh, your third shot has to go all the way through the spinner, all the way into the back hole behind the rollovers, and that'll get your jackpot, and you have to do that three times, that uh, lights the super jackpot on the captive, the captive ball, so... Being able to do that consistently, a score of 1.6 billion, that it sound, sounds about right. 2.9, uh, a little bit sussy, but yeah, 11 billion, no. So what are you packing, buddy? Kind of sucked on this tournament. Uh, I guess get multi ball and just keep hitting out jackpots. I think you have to alternate between red and dead. You gotta put a ball in Ted's mouth and you have to beat his wife. It's, I mean, might sound funny, but technically that's what you're doing. You have to smack her in the face with the ball. So. Yeah, what up? Okay. Wait. Damn. Pretty good tournament, though. forgot to mention earlier, I've got a lot of these to go through. I haven't touched pinball all week, so... Yeah. Shoot the ramps during the uh, ramp mode, and then hit up. Uh, hit the broadside during uh, broadside mode. Hit them a bunch of times. get there eventually yeah keep up the combo avoid starting the modes uh, 194 in five minutes yeah, kind of on the border I guess we'll start here. Uh oh. All right, so which table this time?
So which one are we going with now? Oh, Blade. All right, by all means. Thank you, Taku. Appreciate that. I'm here to spoil your feast. Hang on, buddy. Mm. I feel my strength returning. Uh, Who's there? Braiding Irish setters, huh? It'll take more than a bite to stop me. Oh, that sucks. Trust no one, especially vampires. My friends, you will always be with me. Watch your step. We scared one away. It's not dark yet. Let me sleep. Mm. I feel my strength returning. Look out, it's Frost. Wake up, Hannibal. <laughs> Tonight. I transcend this immortal coil to become the first vampiric deity, a god among the undead. I got one! Nope. supposed to guide me to their lairs? <laughs> Thanks, Blade. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Wrong one. I picked the wrong one. Give him a nice welcome. moves they call me daywalker gotcha oh one of them went right by me there goes one Watch for that. Watch your step. Lamp deck. Mm, I feel my strength returning. Yeah! We scared one away. you have here. So, I spent some money to upgrade the spinner. Apparently, it only works Hurry one up. time. Silver balls are expensive, but worth every penny. And the ball goes out anyway. Thanks, Blade. Thanks, Blade. Busted. Lock and load. Security breach. The vamps are inside. Lamp deck. I 
there goes one. It's beatable, though. Way to start. Pretty much. I am ready to move. Get out of there. First. Thank you. 
Oh, got her. Music's all right. Bye bye, lamp. Looks like that's gonna do it. Oh, it took a second. Not at all. Actually, now that I think about it, I think you're one of the, you're the one of the, you're one of the few people I can think of uh, that's actually mentioned the uh, Arabian Nights having good music. I mean, it's not. It's not my all-time favorite pinball music, but it, I mean, it's pretty listenable. All right, turn your heads. Thank you. 
Well done. Ah, oh, makes two of us. white target towards the back of the table not gonna happen Oh, this one bust. Yeah, no left ramp for me. There's a. Uh, it's actually kind of pointless. You ain't just making mistakes, buff. Yeah, that. Because. That's the only shot you can make with that left puncher. Nope. Happy birthday, right? 
That was a bad run. Sure. 26 billion on one ball. Yeah. Definitely calling BS on this one. 26 billion on one ball. Can we say infinite ball save? One attempt? Uh-uh. Pickens are kind of slim. Every available man. Get every available man. Ah! Watch out, man. They've got a big old beam. Yeah. Four of them.
So one more right loop, and it should be uh, total annihilation. Got it. Lamp deck. Oh, didn't know about that one popping up. So, gonna be a short multi ball. Ah, uh, input lag. Should have had that shot. Missile yeah, been there. Shot eater. Eater. Oh, so much for that. Oh, Aaron. Balls got stuck in that hole up there. Eater. Just uh, left ramp. Got it. Second chance and fucking shot eater right up, right up. Uh, back. Yeah. Shot eater. Oh, damn, Joe. Nothing can defeat us. Use the atomic blaster now. Woohoo! 
Yeah, plus uh, when you have that many balls on the table, you spend most of your time hitting other balls than you do actually hitting shots. Yeah, bobbling the ball. Yep. So much for the multi ball. Oh, never mind, I got one. Hey, not one but two. Wasn't paying attention to the time, so. That's a good question. I'm not sure how that works. It. I want to think that you can, when you start one multi-ball, you're um. You're not allowed to start the other one. In other words, you can't have two multi-balls going at once. Seventeen billion. Chris, yeah, I'll shut up about this one here because uh, all the scores on here are pretty close. So they must know something that I don't. I gotta break off for a few. I gotta really I gotta use the bathroom. Yeah, there's um some table some tables on here you can't have multiple multi balls going i think back to the future is one of them in fact that um one of the tournaments that was my strategy um i 
I thought maybe if I can get multiple multi-balls going at once, I could get double scoring on each each individual one. But uh, most other tables, I don't think you can. You start one, you're locked out of all the other ones. But anyway, I'll be back. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be too long. Oh, damn, this sucker is old. Like, 1956? Pretty rare. Only 750. But, um, I also think, too, this is... I think this is around the time when, uh, pinball was banned in most places. It was, uh, seen as gambling. Yeah, to what it says here, too. Multiball in 1956.
Not surprisingly, it's unrated. Huh? So let's do some randos. Not a good way to start. This volcano. Don't you want a nice little shower? Oh, no, definitely. I want you as a statue. What? What statue? I fear no reptiles. Multipliers rise! Out of here. Ancient history headed dog. A gift from the god, stranger. And what on earth is this ugly creature? That's fine.
Well. Get some pinball arcade vibes right now. shot. much. seen this one before. Well. Damn. I got a feeling this is a uh, tournament table. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, I know it, a uh, pinball arcade, it's, uh, it's actually a bad call to let the ball bounce from one flipper to another. Yeah, oh, you have to bend gravity. Um, I don't know what kind of table that guy plays on, but, uh, I know on pinball arcade, you can't let the ball bounce from one flipper to another just because of the the way the flippers are and stuff. So yeah, that table there, I'd actually like to increase gravity a little bit. Make that make the ball smack that flipper harder and it'll actually be more likely to bounce from one to the other. You can do that at just about every table, every table in pinball except for that one particular one. So yeah, I'd love to bend gravity for that one. The table he's playing on might be a the table he's playing on might be a might be a table like this where the 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 physics stuff the table's actually actually tilted up a little bit. I think he's wanting probably wanting to tilt the table down a little bit so it's at less less deep of an angle. Let's 
Still shot. Hell, I'd, I'd wish to bend gravity on just about every other table I play. Um, a pinball arcade, you actually can too. If, if I can remember to, I'll show you. I can't do it, cause um, it'll actually reset all my high score, all of my high scores. Fantastic Four. Here I come! Get out of my way! Let's see some more of that! Great shot! Okay. Oh, there goes the combo. Yep. Okay, shot teacher. to catch ball. Yeah, an old bathroom saying, This is TP to PP, not Wigwam to beat your top top. This table, I sure as hell don't want to play it again. This one ain't much better either. Uh oh! Note to self, use 
Well, aren't you a handsome little fella? Get off me! Oh, fucked it up. So you think you're stronger than me, huh? Get down here and I'll show you. Guess it's all I'm gonna get.
No. That's what I'm not gonna hit. Nope. Told you. Not gonna hit it. Gotta make that center shot. Yeah. So. Oh, is that hard? Don't yeah, it is. You have leveled up and upgraded this table. Wooden head. Oh, that's an old one. 1948? Well, 1900, so... Must have been fairly popular back in the day. I think this is right around the time, too, that, uh... Pinball was actually illegal around a bunch of places, too, like New York and Chicago, I think. To name but a few. I'll go ahead and screenshot it. Yeah. It's a pretty rare table. Double flipper, bitch.
boys think they can beat a girl up this easy. They always change their mind after the third time. Oh, one and up. So Yeah. She made and shipped. Tuh. Probably in a lot of people's basements. All collecting dust. What are those creatures doing? Uh. Trying to, to find, find his, his weapons. weapons. What? He's not even armed? He has a kind of targeting system, right? Deck. He's clearly aiming at those targets now. Sure, wish I could hit that right ramp. Changing. Is he controlling it? The walls are moving! I wish I could hit that right ramp. Look at him go! Watch your step. Seems the hunter just sealed the breach on the left. Oh, 
Pathfinder for me. Yep. Lamp dick. input lag. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. I think this is the end for us. As a meaty. Um. Oh. Well, I'll beat my previous, but really not enough for a screenshot, though. Um, Central Park kind of works like that, too. You keep, um, you keep hitting enough target banks, eventually you'll light a special. But, um, on that table there, specials are actually extra balls. Can't do this one. Copyrighted music. This one. Your death. Uh, no. This needs to be like a short one ball mode or something. Fucking burn out on that table. I've got magnets on the side of the table. Do you have homework? No. Good. 
Because you're going down to the pier to hand out flyers. Oh, my God, this is so exciting. Lamp dick. Yeah, there goes the combo. game anyway. bit of an issue over here. You can't even see the ball come down here until it's too late. Lamp dick. If you can hear this message, you are in a danger zone. Double flipper, bitch. Yeah. I think it's multi ball. Nope. Double flipper, bitch. Oh, there goes one. Much for that. Save me. 
Where are you at? Didn't even show her. get it. That should have stopped it. That should have stopped it. Of course, ball trains afterwards. Awesome. Yeah. Draws one or two. Save me, if you can find me. Nothing can stop me! Against the dangerous Hydra. Uh -oh. I am Hercules. You are skilled indeed, stranger. You'll find me in a cloudy mood today. Shot eater. Hades. Hades waits for you down there. I eat Hydra heads for breakfast, witch. Lamp dick. Through a volcano, I'm one of my brightest ideas. Oh, you think my Hydra will be a quick meal for you then? I hope that Gaia won't rouse this volcano. Beware of the reptiles around here, Hercules. From the god, stranger. Yeah, that ain't gonna help much. I can't even get the ball. Victims, I can't even get the ball up there half the time. Want to help me out, stranger? Shoot the heads! Now when the ball goes straight down the middle at the start. Go back to cleaning stalls. I can't do this one. Too secure. I already played this one. And probably gotta be my last table here. Whatever one it is. No. Same table, same mode. Gotta love that RNG. Anybody, uh, <laughs> got a light? And this is probably the only table I could think of where the FX3 version of this 
is actually better than the pinball arcade one. one. Oh, counted twice. Didn't think the ball was going to do that. does the voice acting for the angel on here but she deserves a raise Kind of double dipped. Yeah, there's a bit of a table bug there. Yeah, double dipped again.
And it goes hard anyway. So I really like to think I beat my previous score. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, like other tables. Super jackpot! Or... I'm sure there's, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a SpongeBob SquarePants table out there somewhere. I think it'd be kind of funny to sell if uh, Squidward did all the callouts. Super jackpot! Oh, wonderful! You just on the wizard mode. Great shot! Oh boy, you just scored a super jackpot. <sighs> okay, but otherwise that's gonna conclude the uh, FX3 part of the stream. Uh, just gonna go on an intermission and when that's all when that's all said and done, uh, it's gonna be pinball arcade. options. So, kind of an old video here. I think it's like nine years old. And the 
camera angle kind of sucks. Checking to make sure the audio isn't out of sync. Balls ain't doing a whole lot of popping. Not a whole lot of options, though. I mean, we got a. I've I've got virtual, virtual versions, but. It's like, nobody's good on this table. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll be back. balls now.
Um, well, we just finished up, uh, just finished up Pinball FX3, and I'm um, just about to start up Pinball Arcade. Three great tastes that taste great together, huh? Sometimes it's just what you need. Good way to start. All oh, this table fucking drags. Make it so. Welcome to the Enterprise.
Supposed to get an extra ball out of that. Wonder what that pink arrow's supposed to be. Cruising at one factor two. Thank you. Yeah, their tricky pinball table. Congratulations. The kickback is ready. What the end goes in the right all lane? Went right by me. Thanks, we'll need it. Suggestions. We could destroy the asteroids in our path, sir. Make it so. Yeah. Picky, picky, picky. Pinball is irrelevant. Ball three. Welcome to the Enterprise. No, speaking of Star Trek. <laughs> oh, the remake. Calculating target range. Kirk Enterprise, distance to target 5,000 meters. 4,600 meters 
the target. Four thousand meters. won't be able to beam you back until you turn off that drill. Oh, gold medal. Parachute deployed. Gold medal. Replay. Replay. Away team is lit. Are you out of your corn fed mind? Yes, I am. What the hell was that? We are being pursued by a B4 class Klingon vessel. Ball one, locked. Oh, hey, Lincoln. Ball two, locked. Only one target left. I probably won't get. Black hole is ready. We lost him. Yeah, everything's lit. They're getting closer. None's getting hit. Three in a row. Super pops are lit. <laughs> You've been saving those, huh? Well, thanks for sticking around, man. Appreciate that. Out, huh? Four Anyway, Launching activation sequence on three. <laughs> Captain, without your display compass, hitting your target destination is mathematically impossible. What the hell 
hell was that? Torpedo locked on us at 320 degrees. Mark two. Our weapons. that channel point system in there because um just one of my viewers suggested it Yeah. And watching my bald spot and watching my bald spot. idea who he is. Went right by me. It's not too bad. But, um... The flashing yellow hole there, that's definitely a required shot. I've also watched... I've also watched this movie, too. It's not too bad. Action hero, it it's um it's actually a action movie parody. Right, 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 right. 
Well, yeah, as is obvious, Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it. Um, Danny DeVito plays a really super small part in it. Um, there's, I don't know his name. He's an old man. He plays out. Of, he actually plays in quite a few movies. He's in there. Um, Mercedes Roll. I don't know if you know who she is. She's been in other movies too. Um, Anthony Quinn, legendary actor, he's in it. Um, but like I said, this um, the movie, it's a parody of um, action movies. You know, Rambo. Um, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger also makes fun of himself too, and like some of the other movies he's done. So, multi ball, hit the left ramp, and then hit the um, the back right ramp. Hmm. <clears throat> and I keep forgetting, there's a big magnet right in the center of the table. gotten it. And looks like we got six ball multi ball for this. I don't. Ah, uh, glitch. That ball literally went through the flipper. Guys can win. But that guy there, I don't know his name, but apparently he's been in quite a few movies too.
which I already had. I knew it. Bad call. Is that ball three? No, ball two. Uh, to the roof? Yeah. Uh, okay, it says so. Or, it's what it says. Hit the left ramp three times. Which means it probably won't. But I told you. Be the kid. I think that's what this uh, mode was based on. It's this one, save Danny. It's the um, ramp at the back right of the table. I probably won't get it because it's lit, but. Well, poor Danny. Poor little Danny. It makes you feel any better. It's not the fall that kills you, it's the sudden stop at the end. Oh shit, this is multiple, I didn't know that. Wow, six ball. Oh, there goes one. Okay, there's one.
and out. There we go. In this world, the bad guys can win. Benedict's gonna get away. Definitely done better. Multi ball, um, just make that ramp shot that I made. There we go. Shit, what? You are champion. I can get back upstairs.
Yeah. Yeah, I get those. Should have gotten the letter too. Yep. No, I can't. Told ya. Bye bye kickback. Yep, single file down the right off. Oh, single file down the right out lane. gotten it yep fuck that up No one's supposed to do that. Yeah. Okay, ball two. And believe it or not, the high score is mine. I can actually do good on this table once in a while.
I need one more ransom letter, and that'll spell the whole word. Um, I'm gonna pause it real quick. So, for those that don't know, if you can spell ransom, everything is lit. It's basically the wizard mode. But if you, for those that didn't notice the pattern I'm trying to do, um, get that drawbridge down that's, that uh, blocks the ramp, light all the rollovers, and for about 15, 20 seconds, the ransom letter will be lit. That's when you want to make your ramp shot. No, that didn't last long. No, I can't. Oh! Um, yeah, I got the jackpot. Jackpot! You are champion. Again. No way. Ball back up there. Ball's gotta go back upstairs. Oh, looks like it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, and on that extra ball shot, you only have just a few seconds to get it. You light extra ball by just making the upper loop over and over and over. Eventually, it'll light up. I think uh, it gets progressively harder each time. No. Stay in the basement, boy. Went right by me. Got my kickback back. Nice. Me not.
sure I'd get in there now. Get the ball up there. Where's the spinner? Most, but not quite. Right, I have this one too. It always seems to make it into the randos. need to put some glue on these flippers. to play it too back in my teenage years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just can't get up there in the lock hole. Dude, you suck. Yes, indeed. Yeah. 
Someone call my mom. Need some help skiing. Never seen that before. Oh, it's a ball, too. Lord knows. Yeah, he likes to pop in every so often. Um, something the fuck happened there. Missed the sound effect. Yeah, it's missing a sound effect. So, apparently you can't tilt this. Yeah, pretty much. Well, taking down the bank would be nice. One more target. Be nice to hit that last target, but not gonna happen. And then I was on the so case. the rate it's going right now, I might end up going to Zachariah. Somebody come quick! And was doing good there for a while, but and then all of a sudden everything case. just turned to shit. Yes. Ride the train. 
Hey, where'd this come from? Oh, turn taxi on me. Oh, looks like she's gonna get away. Yep, she got away. And then I was on the case. On the train. Follow that cab. Tell me more about Walter. Walter disappeared right when things started to get tough. I didn't see Walter in there on that list. Hop on the train. Tell me more about Butler. For some reason, Butler is extremely loyal to me. Should be Butler. I kind of hate this. The light shot starts on the right side of the table, but they put the ball in the wrong right flipper. So, 
If I could get, not now, but uh, you look at the elevator. If I'm in the basement, if I can get the ball in that middle slot, get the cap. it'll be a multi-ball. Multi ball. Freeze, clown boy. Freeze, clown boy. Not bad. Jackpot. I'm impressed. Jackpot. One while it lasted. Been practicing. Jackpot. I looked the up dumb and saw Lady Jackpot with all her beauty. <laughs> like I stole that. Jackpot. the back. Oh, one single bump. I found the train. Ride the train. Ride the train. I found the train. I found the train. right when things started to get tough. Yeah, that kind of pisses me off what way that's set up. The, um, oh, hi, Babs. Oh, he got away. Yeah, Butler got away. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I just... <laughs> that is how he says it. Jackpot. Yeah, a bit of a glitch there. Ride the train. Get in the cab. Ride the train.
Let's double flip her, bitch. Get Not to be whiny, but one of the reasons why I have a hard time making shots on this table, you can just barely see I it. This, never answer the phone. this little white tab here. If I hit that, the ball ricochets pew, straight down the middle. So, yeah. Ball three, so and yeah, eleven billion. But the high scores were achieved by um by playing roulette and winning. So I had to gamble my way to those points. Yeah, take the taxi. Welcome to the party zone. Can I take your order? <clears throat> yeah, so this is the table here. So I know what this guy was talking about. About being able to, you want to be able to control gravity on this one. Because for some reason, it's only on this table. You can't, you can't let the ball bounce. Yeah, bend gravity. You can't uh, let the ball bounce from one flipper to another. Like it just, it's got a roll, real crappy bounce. Your hands are calm. For um, for pinball arcade, I like this one better than Doctor Dude. On FX3, it's the flip side. I like Doctor Dude more than I like Party Zone. The spinner is the big part of this table, especially if you can get it upgraded. 
which you do by hitting the uh, drop targets on the right. That'll work. Like I said, um, for Pinball Arcade, I prefer uh, Party Zone. Uh, for FX3, I prefer uh, Dr. Dude. So I... Yeah, so Babs, I'd say it, if, if it's possible... Get both, and then see which one works better on the uh, tablet. Don't think I would be on this table very long. I'm not. Yeah. Lamp deck. Watch, I probably won't hit a single one of them. Told ya. Enjoy the film. Thank you. Enjoy the film. Shoot the left rack. One of the holes. Don't know if that'll happen because they're lit. She's in one of them tunnels. We gotta find her.
Whoa! Well, how about that? Whoa. Actually. Okay, of course, now, of course, things are all of a sudden going to turn to shit now. Up to the Miss the snack bar. Miss the snack bar. Miss the snack bar. Enjoy the film. Guess that car ain't gonna be budging. Bye. Lamp dick. Shoot the right ramp. I get a second chance on this one. Of course, I probably won't get in there now. Hey, you're no gentleman. No, I'm not. Go. She's in one of them tunnels. We've got to find her. We've we got to not fuck things up like we did the last time.
Well, that ball came out of there all of a fucking sudden. Don't even think about touching that <clears throat> Oh, skipping this one. I'll be back. I already played this one. Trying to say I, that came from out of nowhere. No idea what happened there. I want to see a double flipper, bitch. Ah, uh, Polly's Peril, keep hitting the uh, left and right ramp. If you can hit the center ramp, which I did it there, and that was ball three, so no fucking point explaining that. God, this table is real sensitive. Should have gotten it. Apparently didn't register or something. Force I have it. Okay, I guess I didn't get it. If you can see the flashing target on the way right there, it says checkpoint five, that's what I'm aiming for.
There, about time. Okay. Oh, fucking that up. No. All right. I'm having... I have to make required shots on here just to advance on the table. Anything else is pretty much just a waste of time. So, since every time I can't hit checkpoint six, I end up... Lo it ends up taking me probably about 30 seconds or so to get the ball back for me to make another shot. Just calling it off. I mean, not the session, just the table. I already played this table once, sure as hell don't want to play it again. Same with it, same with this one. Yeah. Like, you would think I only have five tables. No. Welcome to my realm. That was input lag. Sir, line up 
is like so scary. Ew. Ah, bug. Ball two, never mind, never mind. That right ramp is a Terminator 2 ramp. She went off. Not so much for that. Man, that's some bullshit. And yeah, um, more and more, I'm more, I'm more liking the uh, FX3 version of Fishtails. Biggest fish I ever seen. Yeah. It's a favorite line of me and Kataro's.
Which of course I'm not gonna get. Oh. Um. This is looking at the cell phone. Yep. All right. So since just going to Zach. Seems my time. Seems my luck has run out on pinball arcades. So. I'm probably not going to be on Zachariah for very long. Space Shuttle Remake. Not a good way to start. to deal with this as well. The game's going to freeze up from time to time. Oh, speaking of that. <laughs> this game ain't going to crash, is it? Oh, there goes. Earth, Wind, Fire. Remake. Yep. What the fuck is going on here? The game's jamming up. Combo. Combo. Tower, Tower bonus. bonus. Fuck. Don't. Tower bonus.
bonus. Tower bonus. Skill shot. Tower bonus. Yeah. Oh. That was an avatar moment right there. Tower bonus. Tower bonus. Tower bonus. Bonus bonus times two. Not so much for that. Star God Retro. Dragon Act. I never seen that table. Are oh, you talking the uh, dragon in the middle? that up. Star God. Not the original. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's almost the same.
Yeah. Spit an image. Top four percent. Let's see what you can do. Pool champion. Trying to stretch my right leg. Well, yeah. knee's kind of hurting. Yeah. Oh, trying to catch. Oh, technically I got up there. Um, 
Yeah, Jay, and actually, uh, well, part of it too is uh, I practically did a just chatting stream at the start. I had a lot to talk about, so it's like a 15 minute intro. Uh, but otherwise, I think for the most part, FX3 went pretty good. Um, Pinball Arcade actually started out good as well, but then it just it just went on a decline. So it got to where I just said, fuck it, switched over to Zachariah. But yeah, Paragon, I actually, I don't, I have no idea what that upper flipper is for. But I'm not going to be on that much longer, though. If this is what I think it is, never mind. Deluxe. Never mind. Mm, definitely ain't one of the better ones. Sending one your way. Oh. Uh, pretty much.
Uh, yeah. Somehow they got it. Plunger to the drain. Do it quietly. We want to wake up the neighborhood. Single file down the middle. Fuck, it's a mullet. Guess what I'm not gonna hit? Everybody dies. Oh. But yeah, uh, fairly easy multi-ball in this. We'll just keep hitting the spinner.
Must be talking about uh, way up there in the upper play field. Yeah. Well, at least you can pick up where you left off. It up. Okay. Yeah, that's the mode hole at the far right. I want to avoid that one. It's got a mechanical issue up there.
cell phone was trying to shut off on me. Lamp deck. Um, I guess it resets. Got a pot. Check my damn strawberries. Oh, left knee is hurting. Yeah, this is, uh, never expected Postal to be, uh, never expected Zachariah to crap Postal. I always thought it'd be something like, uh, was it, Pinball M, I think it's called. That's one thing about Zach I like. like holy shit. I'm uh I'm twenty-seventh. Having a fairly easy multiball helps out contribute to this.
I got straight from the stri straight from the saucer to the drain. Top three percent. Devil Riders remake. Okay, last table right here. Oops. Super combo. Super combo. Super combo. Super combo. Super loop. Super loop.
Yeah. Lamp dick. Lamp dick. Triple combo. Super combo. Fuck. That upper flipper is kind of floppy. supposed to do that. Oh, okay, like a taxi. The, those double ramps.
What? Um, this pretty much ends the ball right here. That action completed it. Two super combo. Yeah. that time. Barely. Oh, kind of double, kind of double dip there. Cross applesauce. Yeah. Yeah, a diner's a wonky table. It's like, no matter how carefully I aim a shot, and it, it's like a practically a 50 50 chance it's gonna go right where I aim it. And it's like, not even, not even like a close miss or anything. It's like, shot goes way off somewhere.
Well, I'm uh, getting pretty close to beating my previous. So close. Top four percent. Yep. Yeah. Same thing here. Otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. Uh, I got to get up on my feet, off my back, and off my knees. So, yeah. And um, I probably have a boatload of post-production stuff that I have to get taken care of. Um, just getting this uh, stream video all cleaned and pressed and dressed and all set up to be exported to YouTube. Um, and I still have a Gems of War session I have to get taken care of as well. So, but overall, a good session. Um Despite the despite the uh, ups and downs in Pinball Arcade, this is still pretty good. So, kind of a good homecoming after having a having a not so good work week. So, yeah. Uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, dropping in and hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be on again tonight. Uh, my typical time is going to be 9 p.m. and that is U.S. Central Time. So, until then. Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.